So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and yes, this is the first ever BMW review that is not from RSA Motors or Ota Ali in EDSA Sentry. So I'd like to thank Jethro Lubas, his Instagram will be in the description down below for making this review possible. Despite its age, this is still not the oldest car I ever reviewed on my channel. It still goes down to my car for now. And what I have here today is the 1998 BMW m roadster yes this is not a z3 m roadster i mean you can say it's a z3 m roadster because it's on a z3 body but the official name is a bmw m roadster there are only two versions of this this is the first generation and the second generation is based off the bmw z4 so i always wanted to drive a bmw z3 but albeit this was a very very special one and also take note with this particular BMW M Roadster. So this one is a JDM left-hand drive import. I mean, if you can see from the plate, it's letter B. So from Port Irene, this has the Euro engine and US bumpers. And the exact differences, you can tell that this is an M Roadster compared with the regular Z3. You have fake vents here, but that's to distinguish that this has a straight six engine. And you have M badges all around. There is no Z3 designation on this whatsoever. And yeah, see it up close, yeah, it is really low. I mean, that's how tall it is. But what I staggered when I saw this for the first time ever, it's so wide. You get wide front arches here and especially the rear quarter panel. That is this most distinct characteristic of the M Roadster. And hence, it's way wider than the Z3. Like before, BMW kidney grill here but really small compared to the new ones today yeah and this particular one has BMW badges but they're in red very nice touch there and as well to tell the differences between a normal Z3 and this one the rear plate is mounted on the trunk compared to the Z3's plate number located on the rear bumper there are three different body styles for this M Roadster you have the narrow body this M wide body and the way wider body for the two and a half liter and three liter engines from the US market. As well being the BMW M Roadster, you get different control arms at front and different trailing arms at the rear since you carry a bigger engine here up front. Powering this BMW M Roadster, it's a S50 B32 straight six engine. So it's a 3.2 liter naturally aspirated straight six engine. This produces 300 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque and according to Jetto Lubas of course the owner of the car the red line is 7600 plus rpm and the sweet spot of the power in the rev range is around three and a half to five thousand rpm so I cannot wait to get my hands on this and also being his personal car and this is his daily yes his daily he modified few stuff here and there kwv3 coils michelin ps4 tires these are really expensive tires not compared to the cup tires but these are still expensive nonetheless h and sway bars drift cutback exhaust this sounds really really good and hid retrofits at front and being the first gen bmw m roadster this was produced from 1998 to 2002 that's only a short lifespan but a lot has been produced so in total 15,332 were made yeah that is a lot for what like a four year period and then the interior yeah sitting there it's really low it's really tight the dashboard is really high yeah it gives you like a sports car slash gt kind of ride yeah, i can tell already the clutch is heavy to the point i think it's as heavy as a 997 gt3 club sport well, I don't recommend that video. Just find it on my channel. Gearbox is almost as good as that as well. It's a very, very short throw. And also being his daily, as you can see on camera, this is not too bad. I mean, that's the ground clearance of this Z3 MO. So I'll just put the official ground clearance on screen, but for his experience, like even here at the Motorist Humps at my NBC in BGC, he has no issues with those humps whatsoever. So going over the humps, is easy over bumps though he told me to brace for that so i can't wait and also the power of this thing i have to brace for that too time to sink this in right now this is gonna be the most powerful bmw i've ever driven so that's enough of me talking I'm gonna call jetto wherever he is he just vanished out of thin air so with that it let's go for a drive It is really really scary. I mean, 
you have to push it all the way to the left I, this is a dog leg by the way this five speed manual gearbox Jetto told me they inserted a 60 pound spring so you won't get confused like in case you're going to you'll end up like James May in his Mercedes cause so I'm not sure with the name a safety feature only just to avoid you hitting a first gear oh god this is oh my god this is not good so I'm just waiting for Jet I'm just looking for you so first impressions on the car park so far so good The clutch is really heavy. I can say it's almost 911 GTT Club Sport like, but it's not bad. This is the surprise. The steering wheel is really heavy, but I gotta say, it's just as heavy as a Hyundai Genesis. It's as heavy as a, oh no. I gotta say it's as heavy as a Hyundai Genesis. That's how heavy this thing is. I love the short. I will not floor this yet because Jetta's not here so this is just like me getting to know the car because this clutch is really heavy by the way yeah there's a lot of rattles here and there but it's forgiving it's a 90s car and this is his daily I can see on his mileage it has 58,000 kilometers already respect to him as well too for driving this every day too Call up Jethro. Let's go to the open road. Ten minutes later. One thing I didn't me mention in the car park: the hood. The hood is freaking long. Of course, you have a bigger engine. Oh my God! This is so, this is unreal. How does the torque feel compared to the uh, Miata? Crazier. I mean, it comes it comes earlier, eh? Yep. Hi SWAT team. <laughs> Alright, first impressions. The suspension is unreal. It's so firm. But of course me owning a really old car, I don't mind the firmness whatsoever. I've ridden much much firmer stuff. And then long I've got your bus! confirm this is near like super hard level kinds of drive I mean I've never experienced anything like this since the Skyline GTT I drove earlier this year I mean this is much more forgiving than that car oh, for obvious reasons because this was aircon <laughs> no offense to Sir Wendell I love that experience too I gotta say also be its weight it's 1420 kilograms I cannot say this is like in the smack in the middle of a sports car and a GT car. I mean it's heavy but of course you have a big ass engine up front. And it's so loud. Oh my god no! I barely take on 3000 rpm by the way guys. Barely! Wow, this sounds so amazing and I finally got to experience the ever popular BMW straight 6 engine. Oh wow. I need more VAs on my channel but knowing this is a legendary engine, finally. Of course, I gotta give respect to Jetro here. I mean, this is his daily. I mean, I'm having a hard time really driving it just here around in BGC and knowing him, god dang. Turning circle. Oh, not bad. I mean, it's a short car. Yeah, it has the same turning circle as a Ford Fiesta. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> oh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm really speechless at the moment. I mean, you're top of the world. You can't see me, but my hands are in the air right now. And yeah, the steering wheel driving it a bit more. It's just, I think it's just as heavy or just a tad lighter than the Hyundai, Hyundai Genesis. But of course, heavy steering wheel, the feedback is insane. And the clutch, I mean, I drive a manual car, got used it pretty quickly. But I'm not used to the short throw. It's, it's near 911, like I have to say. And the brake feel, being a BMW, it's awesome. I'm surprised this has so much torque. I mean, look, the third gear, there's already 
so much low end torque already I can just keep in third gear and just accelerate and oh my god here we go This thing's nuts. It is nuts. A uh, few things I noticed though, of course, uh, with the diving ergonomic. I mean, it's fine, the wiper stock. I just noticed the indicator is just a little bit lower than usual. I usually I find it up here, but as you can see, the stocks here in the, in the video, it's quite low. What I noticed only. And a few more things. Uh, I mean, what an honor driving an M Roadster. And this is my first ever classic. BMW on my channel. I didn't, never ever expected to type any of this at all. So what an honor. Absolutely what an honor. And uh, I'm really speechless. I don't want to rev this thing like crazy. I let Jetto do that. This is, this is his <laughs> car. It's not my car. I'm not ready to pay anything whatsoever. I love the sound. Thank you. Shout out to Drift Exhaust. Yeah. Uh, they did my cat back. I used to run a uh, cat delete, but since I can't get a tune for it, I returned the original cats. Um, but I might switch to that. I, I don't know. I'm still thinking, but I think it's on the loud side. Good loud, but loud not, nonetheless. Not, not to the point you will deafen all of your neighbors. It, it's the good kind of loud for me. One thing I would say that changes this car too is it's lighter by around. 70 kilos due to the cat back and the uh, seats mm -hmm. so the stock seats are extremely heavy um, they're like uh, 35 kilos each so I managed to cut that in half with the Recaros um, so yeah it might be just a tad bit um, quicker but I'm portly I'm a very <laughs> I'm a big dude at 150 kilos, so I think that cancels it out. <laughs> I mean, for once, I don't want this car. For once, own. I don't know why, but driving it is still an honor. For a daily, you are you are crazy, dude. <laughs> you are absolutely crazy. During the pandemic, people were staring as I loaded 15k worth of groceries into this car <laughs> with my girlfriend. She. She literally had so much groceries on her feet and uh, drunk. But yeah, if it works for me, it works. I can get like a month's worth of groceries. Maybe on a regular day, just two weeks worth. <laughs> yeah, it works. My dude, don't ever ever sell this car. Ever. Ever. <laughs> this is so this is such a cool BMW. Thank you. <laughs> and something I noticed as well. I mean, I know I was struggling early in the car park, if you saw, but I forgot how heavy the clutch was. <laughs> I mean, I got used to it immediately. Whoa. And yeah, the suspension is stiff. It's a BMW. However, it's, it's not bad. I'm, don't um, know why, I'm really used to firm suspension. It's actually running KW V3s at the moment, so it's on coils, but uh, I have it set up uh, pretty, um, I wouldn't say supple, but firm, but not too firm rate. Yeah, I know. It's just the right amount of firm, I have to say. You feel things, but they don't beat you up, I yeah, would say. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh god, I gotta get out of this quiet zone. Humps, well, expect what you can expect. Just take them straight as it is. Don't, oh, straight? don't do the shattered thing. Anymore. Oh my god, FF. I have GTC for Luso. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I always consider that the Z3 base successor. See? Just take it straight. This car solo, I can see the ground already from my <laughs> side. That's, that's so funny. I'm so lost for words. I'm not 
even talking in the video anymore. <laughs> the reason why I love this car so much is it just gets your blood boiling. I am I'm boiling right now. <laughs> much because I was concentrating on driving so get us at the wheel at the moment so yeah. let's see it's true potential I, I'm gonna brace like crazy The 
Vanos helps with the torque. Uh, I'm doing 1,000 RPM in third gear, and we're doing okay in the city. Mm -hmm. Relaxed. But if I drop like two gears, oh. back to first gear. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> no, not here, not here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're not gonna do that here yet. And if you're wondering about reliability, you have to understand that this is a complicated engine. Yes. Um, they could have done it better. I mean, the obvious comparison is the Honda S2000. Uh, it was made in the same era. Uh, also had high compression, high red line, etc. The works. Mm -hmm. But the S2000 did not suffer nearly as many complications as the S50 B32 engine here. But, you have to admit, it's a heavier engine with heavier moving parts. And heavier parts mean more wear. That's why you can make a four-cylinder rev to 9,000 easily. But it takes uh, it took Ferrari years before they were able to, to do that with their 458s. The yeah, yeah. So, you have to understand what you're getting yourself into. And when you do, you will find that it's not as unreliable as people make it out to be. Yeah. But at the same time, um, there are different ways of building the same performance, similar performance, the same, with less hassle. So that's why the world eventually moved away into turbocharged engines. And I'm good. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's return to your HQ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, thank you for Jetter Lubas for allowing this pleasure so much. Fun. Thank you so much. What a unreal experience and probably the scariest thing I've done in my channel. Legit. <laughs> this is the scariest thing I've done in my channel so far. I love it. Even more than the skyline. Yeah, pretty much because I never floored it. I mean, no, this is this is way faster than that. Hands down, this is way faster than that. So yeah, hope you guys like and subscribe. Let's get more cars like this on my channel. Thanks again to Jetro. Bye-bye.